Americans who made monkeys of themselves. That's not too surprising. But what really is surprising is Sarah met a monkey who made a politician of himself. This is Brookhaven, Mississippi. It's the sort of sleepy little southern town that usually doesn't make the headlines. But Brookhaven does have one homegrown celebrity who's finally put this little hamlet on the map. Linsber Brister is a local trucker here in town. No, he's not the celebrity. The celebrity's sitting next to him. Linsber's constant companion. Meet Cedo the Chimp. Now to Linsber Brister, Cedo is really more like an adopted son than a pet. Imagine how proud he felt when Cedo became the first monkey in the history of the state of Mississippi to run for public office. The post of county surveyor was up for grabs, and Cedo decided to go for it. Do you think Cedo would be a better politician than some of the ones we have in Washington right now? <laughs> well, I, I just kind of believe he'd run, run the country a little bit better. It might be all monkey business. <laughs> questions about his eligibility to run, he attracted numerous voters to his cause. His campaign slogan, CEO for Surveyor, he knows where to draw the line. Well, his campaign made him famous, but apparently a lot of people had second thoughts about whether CEO really did know where to draw the line. Although he did get some write-in votes, he lost by a landslide. Shortly after his defeat, I went to visit Cito at his home and found out quickly this chimp was no chump. Around these parts, Cito has gained the reputation of a crafty politician. But deep down, he's really just a good old boy at heart, content to spend non-election years working on Daddy Lindsberg's farm. Though I soon found out that he's about as good at mowing the lawn as he is at winning elections. There goes the bus. Ambitious young man. For Cito, it's work hard, play hard. Cito definitely plays to win. Then, after a short break, it's back to work. Like any other teenager, Cito does chores around the house to earn his allowance, which he spends on raw eggs and beer. He's an experienced babysitter. He's a real whiz at taking in the wash. And bring clothes to Mama. Bring them out. And he loves to feed the chickens. Come on. Cito's been living with the Bristers for eight years now, and he really seems to be part of the family. If he misses his brother and sister chimps back home, he sure doesn't show it. Here. Well, he should be happy. I don't know what kind of life they got out in the jungles, but I figure he got just a good or better life here. Cito's no dope. He knows a good thing when he's got it. <laughs> Lindsberg's spoiled him rotten, and when Cito doesn't want to do something, he just doesn't do it. the election, but on the home front, he's definitely in the driver's seat. Lindsberg may not know it, but Cito's got him trained.